There's a couple things that you'll need to note. First of all, when you get your umbrella, ideally you'd want to remove your fabric from the umbrella so you can play just with the skeleton. So the first thing I'll do is I'll take my umbrella, I will unscrew the finial off the top, like so. Once I unscrew the finial, I will start to loosen the fabric around the skeleton. And I'm simply taking the skeleton of the umbrella and pulling out all the fabric. There's a pocket. I typically get 8 to 16 of them in an umbrella where you simply slide out the fiberglass. When you take your fabric off of the umbrella itself, you'll have to go underneath the umbrella and you'll want to untie all of the ties on each of the ribs. And we'll remove the entire fabric from the umbrella. All right, again, the purpose is going to be how to restring this umbrella. As you can see, our string is normally used to tie or to raise and lower the umbrella is completely broken. It is separated. So we will show how to remedy that. The first thing we'll do is we'll take the housing where the crank is at and simply get a small cross tip or Phillips head screwdriver as such. We're going to unscrew each of the four screws. If you have a cordless drill, that works wonders. It just must have a long extension on it. Otherwise, you can use a simple Phillips head like I have here. And there are four screws that you will take this entire housing on. Ideally, keep this top piece like so because your screws are in it, otherwise they will fall completely out. Take the bottom half of the housing and lay that aside. That's your housing for your crank handle. The next step you will do is you will take your crank handle here and you'll notice there's two sides to it. One is obviously the crank handle, the moving part that winds the umbrella up and down. On the other side here you have your cotter pin assembly. So the first step we will do is grabbing some needle nose pliers, we will take the cotter pin and have to pull this out. You have to straighten the edges what I've just done so it can go cleanly out like so. There's the cotter pin. Once you take the cotter pin out, you will have a nut. If it's not finger tight, simply loosen it a few turns. Take your nut all the way out. The next step is take your plastic gear. You will see a plastic gear, like so. And the final piece is, you're going to see a slotted washer. You simply pop the slotted washer out. There's your slotted washer. Slotted washer, plastic gear, nut, and cotter pin. And that's your cotter pin assembly side. You flip the umbrella to the other side, you will see the crank. And using a back and forth twisting motion, we're simply going to pull that crank right out of its opening. We'll take a little bit of force on it. see. If you look on that crank handle, there is an eyelet, and we'll talk about that later, which should have a nice wad of string that is now broken, and we'll simply clean that out as such. Again, the eyelet on the crank handle 
should be full of string. And just clean that debris out as such. Keep in mind you have a spring, a couple of washers, and a plastic housing flush right against your crank handle. So you want to make certain all those pieces stay in that order. Spring, the washers, and the plastic handle. All that's on your crank handle. Lay that aside. The next step is, right where you pulled out your crank handle, on that same side, you will see a support brace like so. Once we take this support bracket here, we're going to lift it all the way out. There is a rivet here. You will simply pop that, give it some good force, and that support bracket will come out as one piece. And again, lay that to the side. Finally, you'll get to your umbrella skeleton, and you'll have to reach up into the umbrella and find the hub, which is this piece located right here. It's a plastic housing, and this is screwed in, so you're simply going to have to free this locking mechanism here. As you can see, what we're trying to do is get to this string that's buried in there. You should be able to unscrew it if it requires a light tap with a screwdriver just to break the lock free. You might have to do that. But once you start getting the threads moving, you will see it like so, and simply unscrew it. Now this will be a challenge because what this screw does, it prevents all these umbrella ribs from separating. So, as you can see, the ribs have a little bit of flex in it, but that's where your ribs get reinstalled. So ideally, if you can keep all the ribs intact, do so. And again, the whole purpose of this threaded screw right here on the bottom hub is to keep all those umbrellas from swimming out of their fixture. Back to our story, we find the string that is broken, and we're going to simply remove the string all the way out. You'll notice there's a small hole. That string fits right through. And that is our broken string from the umbrella. So we'll simply go get our new string now. Open it on both sides. You're going to run that string through the opening, which you just removed the other string on. As you can see, I just pulled out a, a rib. Take your string, put it through that small opening. Obviously, as you get down towards the end, you're going to have to tie a knot at the end of that string to prevent it from passing all the way through. Once you tug that all the way through, it'll prevent that knot, the rope, from going through. If you can, re-secure your bottom hub, turn the threads back on so it's tight again. Again, find your string, put it through the same side that your pulley is on. And I found some luck taking a straight pin, pushing it through the string. You have to guide it through this pulley like so, so it comes out the other end. Your straight pin. That'll help you guide it right through the pulley. So as you can see, the string goes from your knotted end straight down to the top of the pulley, across the pulley, once through the pulley, like so. You're going to take the open end of the string, push it right back on the bottom of the pulley. That string will go right down the hollow shaft of the umbrella stand. Again, the string goes up across the pulley to the other side. Take the open end of the string and drop it right down through the hollow shaft of the umbrella support pole. Okay, once you've taken your string, shook it down the hollow of the umbrella support pole, 
locate your hole where you put the crank assembly in earlier. J hook, a screwdriver, a pin. You'll need to fish out the end of that rope, like so. Right turn the hole where your crank handle is going to go back on. If you remember, your cotter pin assembly side, and this of course is your crank handle assembly side. Grab your crank handle, making sure your spring is still attached. Grab your support bracket. I'm going to go ahead and thread that through as such, making sure you have the eyelet exposed, which is right here. You cleaned it out a couple of steps ago because of all the extra cord was stuffed in there. Anyway, you're going to thread the opening of your string through that eyelet on your crank handle. Again, we'll tie a small knot onto it to prevent it passing from passing through the eyelet. Like so. Next, you'll take your string, push it back through the hole, and take your crank handle, place it through the hole on the umbrella support pole, push it all the way through until it goes on the other side where the cotter pin assembly is. And reversal of the steps we did earlier. Take your slotted washer, place it through the nut, excuse me, the bolt sticking out. Second, you'll take your plastic gear, put it on. Finally, take your nut, and turn that on to the exposed bolt of that crank handle. You want to tie the holes where you're going to put your cotter pin. They have to be right on each side of the crack in your bolt. Push it through the openings on the nut. You might have to turn it just a hair to keep it lined up correctly. And it will come out the other side, of course. Very slight turn. Take a pair of needle nose pliers and bend the cotter pin so it forms around the hex nut that you just placed on it. And the reason we obviously do this is to make certain the cotter pin doesn't slip out. Now you have the bulk of your crank handle assembled correctly. Next, we'll take our housing, top and bottom piece. Remember, your top piece has all the screws in it. Place the bottom housing on as such. Top of your housing. Cross tip or Phillips head screwdriver. Make sure you turn each of the four screws to resecure the housing on it. And watch your umbrella take flight. Again, that verifies that your string has been attached correctly. You'll see the tension on it. Locate your umbrella fabric and place it over the umbrella. Okay. 
locate the hole where your finial is at. That's the first step you'll do. That's your first step. Take your finial, re-secure it over the top of the fabric. Take each of your fiberglass ribs, place your fabric pocket over each of the ribs. And it won't be an easy chore. Since it is fiberglass, you can flex the ribs, making sure they fit over each. Pocket. Again, as your final step, make sure you secure each each of the ties to the umbrella. This way, in high winds and whatnot, your fabric won't take off in flight. Once it's all secured. That's your fabric, and do one final test to ensure your umbrella fully extends. You've completed the assembly of your umbrella.